So yesterday we started talking about measures of central tendency and dispersion. We talked about the mean, median, and mood. Now let's have this problem here. But before that, let's remember that the mean, median, or mode are measure of central tendency. And we have a measure of dispersion, which is the range. And these measures used to be analyzed or uh, to interrupt or to analyze or to compare between the set of data. Now, in problem number one here, what are the mean, median, mode of the bowling scores below? which measure of central tendency best describe the scores. Here we have eight number of bowling scores. Bowler number one is 104, bowler two, 117, number three is 104, number four, 136, and so on. I need to find the mean, mod, and median. So here now we have the data. Let's first find the mean. As I told you yesterday, if I want to find the mean, the mean is a summation. Just this. A mean is a summation of the data over the number of the data. This sign. It's a Greek letter, which means summation. This one here, I wrote it as a number. It's mean number of data. Number three, yeah, it's mean they have number three data. Just the signs. Okay, now, then summation of data, that's mean I have to add all of the data we have, which are 104 plus 117 plus 104, plus 136, plus 189. Did you know now from where I bring the numbers? Yes, no. from the data. Yes, from oh, okay. here. Plus 113, plus 104. Over. Now, how many bowling? Oh, how many bowler we have here? Eight. Eight, bravo. Eight. So let's add the numbers now. 104, plus 117, plus 104, plus 136, plus 189, 109, 113, and 104. After we find the summation, they are 976. So I add now these some numbers and the answer is 976 then divide by 8 equal 122 will be 122 so the mean the average of this eight data is 122 this is the first one is it clear yes yes so let's write here that we have a mean equal 122. Now, let's go now to find the mode. Did you remember what's the mode? The mode is the most- It's the middle one. number. The most, no, it is it's not the middle. It is the most frequent number, mode. I'm not talking about the median. So mode, I have now to look at the numbers here and to see which number occurs more than one. Here we have 104. 104, bravo. So mode will be 104. 104. Now let's talk about now the median. The median, since letter D here, is in the middle, that means I want to find the number which is in the middle of the data. So what we have to do first? Who can tell me? Put the numbers fr from least to greatest. Arrange the data. Bravo. First, we have to arrange or put the numbers from least to greatest. 
So what is the list number here? I think 104. Then one hundred thirty-six, then one hundred eighty-nine, then one hundred ninety-nine. Then here, it's now. Cancel number from the right, number from the left, number from the right, and number from the left. Number from the right, number from the left. Now, what did we have here in the middle? How many numbers? 109 and 113. Two. Bravo, we have two numbers. So what do you have to do then? Plus them, add them. Add them. Find add the mean them. of them. Find the mean of them. Yani, I mean, you have to add them, divide by two. This is the formula. Every time, add them, divide by two. Every time divided by two, just add them, divide by two. So now 109 plus 113, which is 222, over two, which is 111. So the number that's come in the middle here is 100. Are you here? Yes, 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 teacher. Because I have a problem in the internet connection. So the number that is in the middle here is 122. So now the median is 122. So the mean is 120, uh, the mean is 122. The median is, I'm sorry, um, this is the median is the one, uh, just one second, please. It's 111 and the median is 111. So as you see now here, sometimes a median, it could be a number from the data, and sometimes not. Because here, as you see, the median is 111, but there's no 111 here. So sometimes it could be from the data and sometimes not. Is it clear? Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, teacher, why do you make the mode 104? The mode 104, look at the data here. Just one second, please. I will remove that, what it be? Now we have this data. What's the meaning of mod? Basmala. Mod is the uh, number that it divides several times. Yes. So the mod is, is the mod the number that's times. happened more than one time. The more the number that is repeated. Now look at the data here. 104 up to 189, this data here, which number happened or repeated? Or which number? 104. 104, that's it. So the mode will be 104. Okay, I understand now. Thank you, teacher. You are welcome. For the median, if the number was like repeated, I would write it. Like here, 104. Here, teacher, median. Yeah, media. I mean, the mean, the mean, the mean, the mean. The 122, you mean? Yes, the mean. So, mm. teacher, I will add the 104 three times. Yes. Uh, I add them three times. Uh -uh, don't take one. No, add them. Okay. Yeah, add 104 plus 104 plus 104 plus 109 and so on. 
Hello, what's the meaning of mean? Mean, as you see, the number is 122. So it's come approximately here. Here is the mean. So that's mean. I can tell you as an example, I'll, this is on the number of scores. Then I tell you all the numbers on, under the mean will be filled, Mithra. And all the numbers greater than the mean will be accepted. Oh, as an example, I will say, this is the, the, mean, the mean here. Okay, why we use the mean? Or why we use the, we use the average? We use the mean that's mean, like these two numbers here will be the winner, as an example. The, this is the one, this is I decided. That's, I told you that's the number, that's a greater 122 will be the winner. And if you are less than 122, you will not be a winner. So after you play, and I told you, what is the mean? You ask yourself in your mind, shall I am under the mean or above the mean? If I am under, I am not a winner. And if I am above the mean, I will be the winner. Another example, if I have um, the math scores for you, and I told you that each girl get uh, within the average as an example for the math quiz is 9.5. La, sorry, uh, the average, let's make it eight. Okay, I take the scores of 15 girls in grade eight. I add them, I divide by 15, and I, I, I and find the average as eight, or the mean as eight. So then I will tell you, all the girls get eight and above will get A. And if you are under eight, you will not get A. So this can help me to know who will get the, the girls, shall I give them A? This is an use of mean. Is it clear? It's not for you, Ian. This was just an extra information. Okay. Okay. Now here. Find the mean, median, and mode for each set data. Tell which measure of central tendency best describe the data. Let's solve number eight now. Miss? Mm. Miss, we're not going to find the, the, the range? No, not now. When you talk about it, we will find it. Hello, there's... Um, Something we call it outlier. The outlier here, I will not, I will not uh, I mean, take it, I talk about it in details in this uh, class, but I'll give you what's the meaning of outlier. As an example now, I come to your class and I found that I asked you about your uh, heights as an example. So let's ask Farah now. Farah, what's your height? Teacher, I'm not sure. Maybe 163 or 61. 163. Okay. Um, Huda. Keep quickly. Please. Yes, miss. What's your height? 159. Okay. Uh, Jenna. 161. Um, uh, Jude. Uh, Sarah. Yes, teacher. What's your height? Uh, my height is 151. 100. Sorry? Yes, teacher. Call me. Yeah, wait, Jude. Sarah. One? 151. Okay. Ajudi, what's your height? Me? Mm. 159. 159. Okay. So I asked now some girls here to know their height. And as an example, I am not 170, but I will tell you that I measure myself and I am 170. Now then, look at the data here. 
if you want to find the out layer, you have to see now from these numbers, which number is very far from the other numbers. How did you know? Subtract from this. You will find that now 151 from 159, they are eight. 151 from they are 10. This uh, when the, in order first, before that, you have to arrange the numbers. Let's see that we have the small one is 151, 159, 159, 161, 163, and 170. So then, that, just one second, I want to make this one 155. Then, to know the outlier, okay, when this is, it's in your book, but I will not ask you about it on the quiz, but just here to know what's the meaning of outlier. Then, subtract them, we will find that the difference between 155 and 159 is four, zero, two, two, and seven. Now look how the measure of the height for this woman is very far from the others. So I will say that this is the outlier. And actually I am the outlier because I am not a student in grade eight, but I add my measure of height to your data. This is the meaning of outlier. Okay, miss. Is it clear or somehow? No. Just here that I can, you are in grade eight, but I am, and your age is uh, 14 years old. I come to you, but I am 30 years old. But when I measure our heights, I found that I am taller than you, but I am the outlier because in my height is very far from you. Or as an example, other example, if I'm asking you now about your age, some of you tell me, teacher, I am 13.5. Some of you, teacher, I am 14, 14.5, 14, 14. But me is 30. Okay, so where's the outlier here? Where's the greatest number? 13. That is far from 30, which is my age. Another example, but it's not be the greater. Sometimes I bring my son as an example. My son is six years old. So which is the number that's far from your age? Six. 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 This Four. is also the outlier. Now, let's now do here number eight. Here we have a goal discourse. You need to find the mean mode and media. Let's first find the mean. To find the mean, we have to add them. 98 plus 96 plus 98 plus 134 plus 99 over 5. So now, equals 525 over 5. Yeah, just, just one second, please. 525 over 5, which is 105. Just a minute. Okay, so this is now the mean. Now let's find the mode. The mode is the most frequent number. So, which is the number that's repeated more than one time? 98. 98. 98. 98. Now let's find the median. To find the median, we have to arrange the data. So, 96, 98, 98. 99 and 100. Also 98, teacher. So where's the median? To find the median. Bravo. Bravo. If we need to find the median now, just try to 
remove number from the right and number from the left. So after that, we found that we have only one number, which is the media. It'll take one minute to write. Yes, Mr. Finished. Okay. Now, your grades on three exams are 80, 93, and 91. What grade do you need on the next exam to have an average of 90 for on the four exams? Here now, as an example, sometimes you'll ask me, type teacher, how much should I get to take A? How can I tell you? In this example here, you have the, the for you, uh, you did three exams, and in the three exams, in the first one, you get 80 from 100. The second one, you get 93 from 100. The third one, you get 91 from 100. And we, you have a four quiz. And in the fourth quiz, you will ask yourself, how should, or what grade did I need to, to have? in order to find the average is 199. So now let's see what can we do. In order to find the missing number, we know what no know that before that the mean is a summation of the data over the number of them. So the mean here now is given, it's 90. And the number of the quizzes, they told me that you have one, two, three, and you want to do the next one. So how many quizzes we have now? Four teacher. Four, bravo. We have, uh, we did the three, and we are going to do the last one. So we have four. Now, what are the quizzes, the marks we, of the scores we have? We have 80 plus 93, the, the, the second quiz, plus the third quiz, which is 91, and plus the last quiz, or which is the fourth quiz, but which we don't know its this mark, so we write it as X. Before I continue, did you understand the idea from the question, of the question? Here you have a missing. Yes. Here it's like you have a missing number of data. There's something missing. That's you have you did four quizzes as an example. You remember three of them and you forget the last one. And you don't know where did you put the paper. You will use this formula. That's you know the mean or the teacher tell you the mean so you can find the last one. Then what we have to do? After we wrote this non cross product, 90 times for, or before that, before this cross product, first let's add the numbers. So 90 equals 80. Plus 93, plus 91, 
which are 264, I add these three numbers plus x over 4. Then the second step now, cross product. 90 times 4, 306 equals 264 plus x minus 264 minus 264 then it will be 96 so now six nine so this is x so that's mean the the my score for the fourth quiz will be 96. if i get now 96 i will and i added them to my previous quizzes i will inshallah get an average of 90. is it clear Yes, miss. Okay. Yes, teacher, it's clear. Yes, miss. Now, let's have another example. Find the value of the, the value of x, such as the data set has you have the given me. <laughs> then, in number eleven here, we have. 3.8, 4.2, 5.3, and x. And I told you then that the mean it's 4.8. Then let's remember that the mean is a summation of the data over the number of them. So we have 3.8, 4.2, 5.3, plus x. I add now these numbers over 4 because I have these four numbers and I get the mean, which is 4.8. Then let's add the numbers now. 3.8 plus 4.2 plus 5.3. I will add these three numbers. So 13.3 plus x over 4 is 4.8 then cross product 4.8 times 4 it's 192 uh, sorry 19.2 equals 13.3 plus x. Then minus 13.3 minus 13.3, you will get that x is 5.9. So the value of x will be 5.9. As we did before, I add, add the data plus x, over the number of them, which they are four, equals 4.8. This one now here, after I add these three numbers, I get 13.3 plus x over four is 4.8. Then by cross product, I found what is x. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. Can you please solve number 12 and send me the value of x in chat? Okay, Miss. Okay. 
number 12 teacher right yes okay thank you